Russia used the powerful ODAB-1500 aerial bomb in Ukraine for the first time. Bild published the information. According to information, the bomb was thrown in Bolshaya Pisarevka village of Suma region. A Soviet-era aviation bomb is a thermobaric projectile. 10 meters before reaching the target, it releases a fuel liquid in the form of an aerosol and burns it. This is called a large-scale explosion, and the smoke rises to a height of 1 kilometer. Bill's military expert Yulian Repke called the use of the 1,500-kilogram bomb in Suma province a new low in Russia's war against Ukrainian cities. The total weight of the bomb with a length of 2,765 centimeters and a diameter of 630 millimeters is 1,550 kilograms, and the warhead is 675.6 kilograms. According to information, previously Russia used a 500-kilogram ODAB bomb the image of the explosion of the ODAB-1500 aerial bomb dropped on Suma province was shot on telegram channels. Russian missile passed over Poland, Poles refused to shoot it down so as not to endanger people. Lieutenant General Jacek Gorizowski, spokesperson for the Operational Command of the Armed Forces of Poland, has explained that a Russian missile that entered Polish airspace on the night of the 23rd to the 24th of March was not downed because the Polish military realized that it would leave Poland's airspace and an attempt to down it would have put civilians at risk. Gorizowski explained that the decision not to shoot down the missile was taken by the commander of the Armed Forces Operational Command. The decision was based on the information from our radar systems. The assessment of the missile's trajectory, speed and altitude showed that it would leave our airspace, he added. He added that an attempt to down the missile would have posed a greater risk for locals. A missile weighs over two tons, 400 kilograms of which is the payload. After the missile had been downed, missile debris would have fallen on our territory. The remains of the effector used to down it would also have landed there, he explained. Gorizowski noted that if the missile had flown deeper into Poland, a decision to down it using pairs of F-16 fighter jets may have been taken. It is the operational commander who assesses the situation and is authorized to make that decision. On the other hand, even after receiving permission to down a missile, a fighter jet pilot may decide not to do it if there is a risk that debris could fall on a hospital or a school. The location of the missile's landing site is also important in making the decision, he explained. Gorizowski added that Russia deliberately maneuvers its missiles in such a way that they circle round and strike targets in Ukraine from the west. The Ukrainian air defense has realized that most Russian missiles come from the east or north. The defenders are less likely to expect an attack from the west, he said. On the 24th of March, Polish airspace was violated by a maneuvering missile launched from a long-range Russian warplane. The missile entered Polish airspace near the village of Osadow in the Lublin Voivodship and remained there for 39 seconds.